Good day. Nori Maple. I got a friend who's really gonna like this. And trucks in and setting off on the job site. This is stuff you never see, but it's a reality. We gotta get in here. We gotta have this parking lot clear. We had to give uh, two days notice before we're here, and you're always fighting weather in tree world, tree work. Look at these guys. Let's go see what they're doing. Great day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's their ride they just showed up in. Perfect. No problem. That thing does it every time. Every time. Look, can you tell? Awesome. All right, the team is assembled. Tom is here. Sam's here, Kevin's here. Okay, so what we're doing is we're taking this Norway out due to the fact that there's been a bunch of failures over the last little while, last few windstorms. So there's also a really big cavity here of another broken lead at some point. Giant cavity in there. I can't even get my hand in there to get a scale, but pretty big tree. So we'll get that down and get her in the truck and bring her over to you know who I'm talking about. Modern Self-Reliance. this Norway so we've got a pretty considerable broken leaning limb Widowmaker Chico there's all sorts of different terms for these branches that are up in trees and these are important to pay attention to because they're big and they can fall whenever they want so this is cracked right here you can see almost through it here and I've got to get all this lower stuff out of here so I'm gonna tie it off first so that in the event of it falling while we're working on it, it's gonna catch and hang from the rope. But that's what a widowmaker is called or what it looks like. Everybody hears that term with tree work and trees. Watch out for widowmakers. That's a widowmaker. Here's another example. Let's spin over here so you get a better look. Just hanging there by a thread. 
So I'm gonna just shake this and see how easy it is for it to fall. This is probably 10, 12 feet long, heavy enough to definitely hurt somebody. We'll see how easy it falls. Crazy, that's why they call them widow makers. Okay, as you can see, it's opened up quite a bit, but here's that limb, it's tied off. It's going all the way here, I've reduced the one side. I'm more concerned about this part swinging back. So the shorter I make this, the less crazy that is. Let's see what happens, here we go. She's a pretty decent peg. We should be able to drop it now. And then we can put it onto the truck with that green mean machine. Big pieces down here, but we're gonna do that on the other side just because of this fence here. So we're gonna flop it now. All right, here we go. Go time. <laughs> for you <laughs> well we got her down no problems everything's good that's a big chunk of wood right there we'll have to cut it up into smaller sections so we can load it and then we'll bring it to uh kev's house but thanks for watching please like and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll keep the content coming take it easy holy smokes joe that's like a entire bush cord with a firewood look at the size of that stuff it's like it's got to be like 10 hands long. I guess I gotta thank you for the part-time job. This is gonna take like a week to cut up. That's crazy. Anyways, good excuse to use the chainsaw, right?